think I did from the beginning, uh, after the original firemen and policemen uh, urges, which we all have, or uh, also ours is a railroad town, so I always wanted to be a uh, railroad engineer. But uh, I believe from the first time I heard the voices coming out of that magic box, uh, the radio, which we, incidentally, as a kid, we watched. I don't know if everybody knows that. Uh, when we sat around the radio, we watched the radio. We watched the dial uh, on the radio. All of us did, uh, adults and young people. It was a big Zenith radio. It had a yellow light behind it. And we would watch that while we were listening to Jack Benny or to the daily soaps, you know, Stella Dallas and uh, young Witter Brown and all the rest of those that my grandmother loved. And also for me, the greatest magic was uh, the voices that seemed to be saying something important. I always remembered them and was always enamored of them. Uh, people like, uh, of course, Ed Murrow and uh, Elmer Davis and, and even the more flamboyant ones like Gabriel Heater and uh, and, uh, and Lowell Thomas and all the rest. These were my heroes from the beginning and I would try to emulate them. Uh, it's sort of difficult to do when you're six or seven years old and your voice hasn't changed yet.